Welcome to the All Things Adobe Podcast, Todd here, and I'm going to be talking about how to create Wii games in Flash. If you're not familiar with the Nintendo Wii, basically it's a wonderful console that introduces the te technology of being able to play Flash games through its web browser. You can download its web browser through the Wii Shop channel if you happen to have a Wii console, but not the browser. The Wii's Opera browser can play Flash content through Flash Player 7, which means you can create games in Flash. Because the Wii Remote or Wii Mote works just like a mouse, you can create very easy, simple games that are really fun to play on the Wii without too much knowledge of Flash. So in this movie, we'll take a look at how to do that. I'm in a file called balloon underscore Wii dot FLA, which you may or may not have access to. So what you can do is just create a blank Flash document and follow along and I'll tell you the steps as we go. The first step to creating a Wii game is setting up the size and publish settings. This is very crucial, so if you have a blank document, do this first. First, let's set the size. Make sure everything is deselected. To make sure everything's deselected, you can click in the gray area off of the stage, and then click the Size button in the Property Inspector. Notice the Document Properties dialog box pops up. For the dimensions, set the width to 800 pixels and the height to 500 pixels. This matches the available real estate in the Wii browser. So 800 by 500 is the size, Keep your frame rate at 12 frames per second. Flash games played in the Opera browser tend to run a little bit slow, so setting it at 12 frames per second is going to get you closer to what you see on your machine when you're playing on your Wii console. Alright, if you have those settings, close the Document Properties dialog box by clicking OK. Now let's take a look at the Publish Settings. Click the Publish Settings button in the Property Inspector. The Publish Settings dialog box shows up. Select the Flash tab. For version, select Flash Player 7, and that'll make your game work in the Opera browser. For ActionScript version, choose ActionScript 2.0. You can also use ActionScript 1.0, but I prefer using ActionScript 2.0. Next step, go to the HTML tab. If you don't see the HTML tab, go to the Formats tab and check the HTML box. Back to the HTML tab. The things we're most concerned about are the dimensions, and flash alignment. Set the dimensions to percent and then choose 100% for width and 100% for height. This will make the flash movie scale in the browser to be a perfect fit. If you don't put this setting in, then your flash movie will kind of be scrollable and look kind of awkward. So this will ensure your flash movie looks just right in the web browser. For flash alignment, choose horizontal center and vertical center. That'll keep your content aligned to the center of the HTML page. With everything set up, Click OK. Now we'll take a look at this FLA file and you can create some elements as I'm going along. So feel free to pause the movie at any time and just create some stuff. On the stage right now I have two layers, clouds and background. The background is just a simple gradient shape, nothing special, and the clouds are just a few movie clips that animate that are cloud shapes and I just copied the same movie clip and rotated it. In the library there are two movie clip symbols. Let's take a look at them. I'm going to double click the MC Balloon icon in the library to look at the art inside of this movie clip. The art inside of this movie clip is fairly simple. It's just a balloon graphic. And if you click on it, or if you watch me click on it rather, you might have to create your own graphic. Notice that the white dots are selected around it just because I used merge drawing. So what you want to do if you have a blank document right now is create a new movie clip and put some kind of art in it. I like balloons and I can click on them. It's like I'm popping balloons. It's kind of fun. So just put some kind of art inside of a movie clip. So pause the movie and take care of that. All right, now that you made your movie clip, let's double click the balloon animation movie clip in my library to view its timeline. Now its timeline is very simple. I just have a motion tween of the movie clip moving up. How far up? As far up as I could go on this stage. So basically, you're getting the effect that this balloon's kind of floating up up into the sky to the clouds. So now you might want to take a second to recreate this yourself. If you have a balloon you can animate it going up. If you don't want it to animate then that's fine. Just in a separate movie clip I have this balloon layer. So just create some kind of animation if you wish in another layer. This is going to be the interactive element that we'll use for the Wii game. Now all we need to do is write the action script that says when you click on this movie clip then make it disappear. 
So it'll look like we're popping the balloon. I mean, we won't have a cool animation where the balloon explodes or anything, but you'll get this effect that you're popping the balloon because you click on the balloon and it disappears. You could add sound, you could add way more advanced interactivity, but for the sake of this movie being kind of short, we'll just add some really quick action script. So create a new layer, name the new layer actions. Make sure the actions layer is on the top. Select the first keyframe of the actions layer and press F9 on your keyboard if you're on a PC and Option F9 if you're on the Mac. That'll open up the actions panel. And again, I have this enormous font so that you can read what I'm typing. Now it, we're going to write the code that says, if you click on this movie clip, then make the movie clip unload or disappear. So type this dot on release with a capital R space equals space function open and close parenthesis. I'm going to move the actions panel because it's kind of hard to see. After the close parenthesis type a colon and then void with a capital V underneath that line of code. Open curly brace, enter, close curly brace, and then get between the curly braces like I am here and then type this dot unload movie with capital M open and close parenthesis then a semicolon here's what this code is doing this dot on release it says whenever you click on this movie clip this is just referring to this timeline or this particular movie clip or object on release is when you click and release the mouse button Function is just specifying a block of code that happens, and this dot unload movie just says, take this movie clip and just get rid of it. Fairly simple, right? Close the actions panel, return to the main timeline by clicking scene one below the timeline. Create a new layer at the very top. I'm going to call this layer balloon. On the balloon layer, I'm just going to drag a few instances of the balloon animation movie clip onto the stage, like so. And then I'm going to test the movie using Control Enter, and that's Command Return on the Mac. The balloons go up, I click them, and they disappear. Fairly simple, right? Yes, right indeed. So now you've actually created your first Wii game. To put it online, go to File, Publish Settings. Choose formats. See Flash, Swift file, check the HTML file box, and then click the publish button. Then Flash will create Swift file, an HTML file, and actually a JavaScript file as well. And then all you need to do is upload those to a web server. Then you can play the game. Let's say I just uploaded them using an FTP server to our FTP site at chadandtodcast.com, then the game would be playable there. If you don't have your own domain, you don't know too much about uploading, if you go to a website called wek.com, they'll let you upload your games there, playable to the world, which is actually pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is open up the Actions panel, and I'm going to give you the address for that website. So it's wek.com, W-I-I-C-A-D-E dot com. If you go there, you can play some Flash games on the Wii, and you can upload your Flash games. All the games on WeeK.com are also playable on your computer. So have fun making some Wii games, and if you make anything cool, send me an email. And in that email, make sure to include a link to the game or the Swift file or something so I can see your game. Don't just tell me that you made a cool game. I'd like to see it. And that's a look at how to make Wii games in Flash. Beautiful,